Leah DMW first lady, don't come out and tell us why she leave the record label. Every boss is coming out to say, David, don't do me this. David, don't do me that. Hey, me say, I won't come talk with him. David, don't do me. Mm. Tomorrow, I'll come talk of with him. David, don't do me. My correct, correct people, them liar. We be former DMW first lady. She don't come outside, oh, come follow talk. Why? She left David's record label. My correct, correct people there. It's too choco. Liar. Don't come out to go talk for her recent podcast interview. Say, see her why she leave the video. When I know say when she did there, she been do two singles. Lucky Rebotto and Melo. Hmm. No one really move like that. Mm. No one really move. So when she did talk part of why she leave, she said mm, that she was not really giving all the attention that she deserved. But yeah, say the decision to leave was primarily motivated by DMW not giving her career attention and support. But she, she won't leave. And then also DMW were also, you know, she said time was up for both she and DMW. So she not feel saying that DMW leave her or now she leave DMW. Either she take put time, I go put the small clip, me when I watch, I know to know how to quote person. All right, my correct, correct people then. So many people now, you know, they come out, they come, they talk one or two, and she too, she don't come out, come talk. But based on the interview with me, I watch, and they look and say, hmm, you be like saying that the person with the interview, her man, they try to put words into her mouth, and then she they try to manage them. But Everly, she just had to say what she had to say. So I don't blame her much. All right, Mona, watch the interview. I mean, everybody's like, oh, this is the first lady of DMW, this big, this huge. <laughs> and we're looking forward to that, right? And then, um, you know, it went the way it went. You know, you put out music, you did what you could. And then we're hearing stuff about, oh, you know, she got dropped from the label because, you know, the numbers weren't as great and stuff. And I'm like, oh, well... You heard I that. think yeah, I'm saying that. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna ask you first. Did you did you get dropped by David O no. or the label? I, I, I don't know. Uh, it was more of a mutual thing. Like mm. it, it was like, uh, I guess it was time to like just it's time to move on. Yeah, to move on. So you didn't the label didn't drop you or you didn't so have we like issues. Ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so it's more like you dropped yourself. <laughs> hmm. We dropped ourselves. All right. So three years. Um, you had to out of uh, the contract or was the contract um over yeah. by the time you it wasn't to over but it was just more of you know mm. i want to start fresh mm. everyone wants to start fresh mm. which i feel is like a normal thing in life as a person sometimes you just want to evolve you want to re-strategize mm. reintroduce yourself there's nothing wrong with that there's absolutely nothing wrong with that you know honesty would you say that you know during your time at the label that the label paid as much attention to your career as an artist under the label because it's another thing and, and this is coming from a place of concern because people some people think that you know um they didn't focus more on you and they were pushing the other guys and that kind of stalled you would you say in all honesty that the label paid as much attention to your career no right mm. no appreciate honesty, the honesty yeah. no so you felt it could have done better I don't know, maybe. The promotions? Was it the strategy? Was it how they handled your craft? Was there time for, for your rollout? Did they, was there a lot of brainstorming? Maybe the structure. Right. But I'm glad they're, they've started afresh. I think they're doing mm. a great job with the DMW to fund zero. Okay. I'm happy for everybody. Ah. Uh. I feel like I'm done came from a very dark place, like yeah, a personal place. a very dark place. Yeah, couple couple, couple of weeks, some, yeah. some cramps, like, ugh, uh, in the studio. Right. So I was all up in my feelings. Doing, I'm done. What were you done with? I was just done with, you know, drama, mm. done with toxic people, right. done with negative people, done with, just done with, with everything that's not like going to yeah. to um, make me a better person, that's mm. not going to make me feel good about myself because right. I, I, the person I feel like, you know, um, if the outside, like the surface, mm -hmm. like as a person, you should be happy. Right. So like, I'm done, I'm done. 
I'm not going to force nobody to love me. I'm not going to force oh. nobody to like have my time or, or it was like a heartbreak song. Right. Yeah. So he be like say, he gets the way when I follow the Twitter based on some of the things where she talked for the interview. She's not going to force anybody to love her. Boo -boo -boo -boo. She just want to be happy. My correct correct people them. Even I watch the way where DMW the day you just look me or I might be wrong go, but just look me like saying now where many people just they try to you know seek for notice, try to do one or two. I made a video to say they be better person. I just sound like say fakeness too much for them. Now we tell they sound maybe I'm wrong, but that's how I say it. So you know being a woman, being in the circle of men like that, I wanna know how. DMW crew members, when I know that they do now, ah, they too like noise. <laughs> Me as a woman, I know even if survive survived for their mist, I know fit. Maybe it was awkward for her. The real reasons we do not know. The video himself, I know he's not a harsh person, but maybe people working with him, maybe people working with him, because for her to come out and say, oh, I don't want to be in a toxic environment, I just want to be happy, and all that. Maybe people working with him. I don't know my correct correct people them. No, not even we women self. We had though. Mm. Alright. So people don't reaction, they don't talk one or two. Make I read them for one. First person say David don't sign her to impress people, not because the girl has talent. Then the second person say how many songs she don't drop a bag. First person say allow David do breed. Liar, you were so talentless. No word like talentless. After investing millions on you, you couldn't produce one hit song, local champion. Then the next person say, your village people, no want you to get better. That's why, Olusho, they your eyes. Hey, wala, 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 wala. Now, wow. The people Lala was not even comfortable with the questions. Hmm? She was not comfortable, but the interviewer was the like, ah, all these people where they do interview. <laughs> no wonder people could reveal things for podcasts. I could they wonder, see, what is actually Shelly like this? Even things where they're not even supposed to reveal. Because it gets some kind of question where these people go ask you, eh? In fact, eh? You know, go even know where you want to run enter. Unless maybe you they say, no comment, no comment, no comment. And of course, you know, say, you know, we just bath, ready, dress, go podcast, where they invite you, and probably they're going to pay you. And then they go ask you questions, you go say, no comment, no comment, no comment, no, impossible. You can't say all of that. If not, many celebrities, when people meet them for a road, you know, they want, they go say, no, they're not talking about that. But when you go podcast, they don't pay, they don't pay you. And you they call the answers or kind deep, deep question. At least you must say something. Me, I noticed how uncomfortable when she been there when she answered those questions. She was so so uncomfortable. All right, so my correct correct people, them well, she don't become an independent artist. I don't know whether she signed to another record label. Me, I don't really know her like that. Mm, I don't really to know her apart from that time where they say, hey, David, don't sign new artist. She be woman and hey, but maybe her music and all. I don't really know. Maybe I'll check her out later. But you get to me, I just won't talk. When I remember the case of Bonaboy, when I know how long we it take before Bonaboy blow for Niger. In fact, na international self, na I begin to value Bonaboy. As we come they see the kind of way where Bonaboy don't they make internationally. Now we hear say we come they value him. Bonaboy suffer. Bonaboy who they celebrate today, he suffer, but he believed in himself. So mainly, I don't mind all these ones where people, they talk this, talk this, talk that. No, don't mind them. Believe in yourself. I know say, I, I, I know if you really say, okay, see song where she sing. I know if you really sing, and be way, way, maybe I go sing some of the video song. I go sing some of Rema's song or even Whiskey's song. But I know, say, back then when I listened to the song, even though I cannot even remember what the song was all about. I know, say, sense has been there inside the song. I know, say, Everly, since she myself, she believe in herself, say, ah, now because they don't push me well. No worry. Keep on pushing. If person don't push you, push yourself. Keep on pushing. I believe say you go go far. Because I know waiting Bonner Boy. See, I know how many people talk down on Bonner Boy's talent. But see Bonner Boy today.
Bona boy say na him be the best. And I'm sure he has always had that mentality. That's why he kept pushing. Even in mama too kept pushing. And today, see where he is. All right, my cray cray people, them time don't reach to drop my kilo code. Una thank you for watching. Una stay beautiful. Una bye.